currently at Harvest Baptist, we are having services for the purpose of having revival in our church. J.I. Packer said, Revival is the visitation of God which brings to life Christians who have been sleeping and restores a deep sense of God's nearness and presence, His holiness. Thence springs a vivid sense of sin and a profound exercise of the heart in repentance, praise, and love with an evangelistic outflow. Now, that's a lot. So let me quote it again. Revival is the visitation of God which brings to life Christians who have been sleeping and restores a deep sense of God's near presence and holiness. Thence springs a vivid sense of sin and a profound exercise of the heart in repentance, praise, and love with an evangelistic outflow. Now, do you think that is where you are at spiritually? Better yet, would God say that sounds like you? That quote by Packer sounds a lot like an admonition given by Pastor James, the brother of Jesus. In James chapter 4, verses 8 through 10, we read in Scripture, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. This is the recipe for revival. That is, if you want it. You see, you are as close to the Lord today as you want to be. You are as revived as you want to be. Perhaps it is complacency that has brought you to where you are at spiritually today. But you don't have to stay there. Draw near to God. When you do, you will awake out of your sleepiness. Stand in the presence of His holiness. When you do, the wickedness of your sin will be so evident that you'll mourn, you'll weep, and hopefully you'll repent. You will turn from what is keeping you from God to God. One pastor said, you want revival? Want Jesus and you will have revival. Whether you are a part of our church or a part of the services we are having this week, Know that you can have revival, but you must take the first step of drawing near to God. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message in a minute.